Hey guys, it's Reggie from Ashley Lambert Realty. I want to show you something really cool to do in Charlotte. Actually, it's a little bit north of Charlotte in a town called Mooresville. This place is called the Main Street Antique Mall, and it's this huge refurbished factory that's been repurposed in Mooresville, and it has, um, it's split up between like office buildings, restaurants, and it also has this huge antique mall that's a part of it that is just so cool and filled with so many cool things. We, every time we go in there, it's like, wow, taking us back to our childhood. And we find things that are super old in there from like the 1900s and stuff like that. Early, early 1900s and stuff like that, which is weird to say 1900s. Man, you feel kind of kind of up there in age. But um, anyway, I want to take you guys with us and show you what exactly this place has to offer. The first thing we did when we got there, because it was in the weekend and it was kind of in the middle of the day, is we took the kids to get some burgers from Barcelona. And Barcelona is known for having a great selection of hamburgers. They actually have a pretty good vegetarian burger too, made out of beans, if you wanna try that. None of that Beyond Meat, stuff like that. And one other cool aspect of Barcelona is they have a great beer selection and they have really good wine selection. And I think they still have that sangria that is just so good. So if you like sangria, wine, beer, and burgers, check out Barcelona. So after we ate at Barcelona, we decided to turn around and head over to the antique mall because that's the reason why we went there. One of the big reasons why we like to go is because we find really cool, weird records for like $3 or $5 that we would just never think of. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll stop at certain places that we know have a bunch of records in crates and we'll just go crate digging looking for really cool records. And so check this out. In the world is this? Did he just not pass away? Yeah, he, but he has like a record? And he did a bunch of like songs. I didn't know he was a singer. Ooh, Barry White. Practice what you preach. Hi. Have we ever played the Prince album? I have Oh, Karen White. I know who that is. Do you know who this is? Yes. What? what? It says Steve Harvey. Right there somewhere. Wow. 20 bucks. See, what is it though? This is a Sesame Street record from 1970. We haven't opened this one yet, but I'm sure this is gonna sound pretty cool. I love trash, Oscar the Grouch. Um, I think number five is probably my joint. This is literally from 1967. This is a print from 1967. It's a bunch of Disney songs. It's really cool to listen to this on vinyl and you know, picking up, I got a few record players now, but it, it's kind of crazy just to listen to this and to even touch this. This is barely used. This doesn't have really any needles, scratches on it. So whoever bought this didn't care about it enough. And you know, eventually it got to me like uh, almost 60 years later, crazy. It's a secret. You want to sample music and I have to play no roles. You, just, you know, you just go get your old gospel album that some local church printed out. <laughs> you would do it. That's what Kanye did. My wife picked up this Tina Turner album. She's a huge Tina Turner fan. The real chair. It's made out of stamps. Why is it made out of stamps? Do I look good on it? Yeah. I'm going for something that's just straight uh -huh. different. And this looks different. I'm coming to some new That's pieces. weird. I got this Jimmy Ruffin one over here. You know, his brother David Ruffin. Because without David Ruffin, y'all ain't nothing. Whole bunch of vibes. Hey, check those out. We didn't have one of those. One of those. Definitely one of those. I remember these. Like a lava lamp? No, like oil lamps. No. Well, yeah, my mama did, but I didn't have them. I thought I saw a cell phone. It says Mac phone. Mac phone? Wow. What's Mac phone? So guys, remember I told you you used to have to have home phones? Right, phones that were stuck in your house? That's what people used to do and, nice. and put those. To most people, this doesn't mean anything, but for me, this was a big deal. This right here is a racing car for Richard Petty. And this is something that used to come out um, when, when I was younger, like back in the day when Days of Thunder came out and stuff like that. It was a big deal in North Carolina and NASCAR racing's always kind of been something that I've, I've liked to watch and experience every now and then. But um, always been a big fan of Richard Petty growing up 
and Dale Earnhardt. So I just decided to go ahead and pick this up. If there was a Dale Earnhardt one, I would have picked it up super quick. But yeah, this is just really cool to have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like it is because I'm pretty sure these aren't rare. But for me, it's a cool nostalgic thing to have. Oh, it's salt and pepper shakers. Bellas and kicks. Oh my goodness gracious. It smells old. This is real. Wow. Hey mom, look, it's a oh, sleeping beauty. Don't spike it on your finger. There's like so much stuff in here. Look. Look, mommy. Can I try? What is that for? I'm about to find out. Hold on. Let's see what this is. Meat grinder. A vintage meat grinder. Look at this. Oh, I've seen that before. My wow, grandma had I'm that. Look at this. What do you think that is? Disney's yearbook. Oh wow, look at all these new I love these new No, I do. The furniture is all matching too, though. Mm -hmm. Thunder tumblers. This is like stuff from all the, over the place, even Asian toys. So I recommend you go out there and check it out. Um, it's definitely open on the weekends. It's super big, super big. What we do is we we bring like a, a, a like a basket, like a pool basket. I think they have carts as well. You know, they do take credit cards, it's not just cash, but go up there, get you something to eat, get you something to drink before you go over there, or do it vice versa, go shop, and then go get something to eat and drink. But definitely go check it out. Mooresville is a part of the Charlotte metro area, technically, although it's, it's just right up 77, past Cornelius, and past Huntersville, and that's how you get to Mooresville, if you don't know anything about Mooresville. It's pretty quiet, it's pretty chill, it's very nice. You know, it's got the lake, on the one side of it so it was very big there's also a gopro racing complex out there too if you guys are interested in gopro racing mooresville is they like to go by i think mooresville is uh race city usa i think mooresville's big on nascar racing so anyway guys i just want to give you more things to do in charlotte this is just one of the many things that we've got coming for you in the future so if you're looking for a house to buy please contact me house to sell contact me as well i look forward to hearing from you guys soon there was always cool people in the world like look at this looks like a um like an old marvel comic or something so this is cool I haven't listened to this yet i've I've heard of New Birth before, but I definitely have never seen this album cover before, so I'm excited to listen to this too. So like I told you, sometimes I try to get really odd albums. This one, I don't even know who this person is. I just saw it. I was like, this looks crazy 80s. Is it, well, like disco era or whatever. I was like, let me go ahead and grab this one. So I grabbed it, it was only like $3, whatever. This one right here, Willie Humphrey. Like, you know how like some of these older records look when they printed them out, they were mad basic. You know, he's a, he's a, He's a uh, clarinet player from New Orleans, and I don't know who he is. I'm pretty big in music. I don't really know who he is, but I'm going to check it out, let you guys know what I think about it. It says this was printed in 1974 in Louisiana. That's just cool. I like having old records. I think it's so cool. It's so cool. And then this one right here is Jimmy Ruffin. And, you know, Jimmy Ruffin is the brother to David Ruffin, if you guys know from The Temptation. But Jimmy Ruffin can sing too, man. Them Ruffin boys was bad. I just picked this record up because this dude looked pretty swagged out in the, in the, in the picture. I was like, I don't know who Roy Hamilton is, but uh, I'm gonna check him out, see what it sound like. Pablo Cruz, I don't know. These guys look like they, they, I don't know. They look like they love disco and they do the most. So this right here, this one was expensive. Um, it has La Freak on it, so it's one of my favorite songs growing up. My father had, he's got one of these albums and he wouldn't let me get one, so um, I just went ahead and bought this. It's, it's kind of expensive, it's not cheap. It was like 30 bucks for this one, but it's got one of my favorite songs on it, so you know, I figured I'd rock with it. These other two, they were pretty affordable, so I got this record from them and I also got whew, 
this record from them. And you know, the thing about these older, these older things, when you're younger, you've heard these songs all the time. And when you listen to the record, you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that song. That's one of the cool things about going to like this antique mall, because you see things that you saw or you knew when you were a child, but you just completely forgot about it because you lived your life and you moved on to other things. We saw, we saw things like cups. We saw things like um, old toys. And this is gonna show that I'm really from North Carolina, born, bred, and raised in North Carolina. Let me show you some. 